Okay, so there's one more thing um, I wanted to mention um, about content in the algorithm on Facebook. So let's look at what's happening right here. So um, Mia posts on Facebook that she needs a sushi date, um, right? She posted nine minutes ago. But if I scroll up my feed a little bit, um, okay, here we go. So Dennis Yu, he posted four hours ago. So Mia posted nine minutes ago, but her post is farther down in the feed than Dennis posted four hours ago. If we scroll up a little more, here's a video that uh, Vin posted. He posted an hour ago. Um, but still, you know, this, this post, you know, Callie, that she shared this 20 minutes ago, this Mia, she posted this nine minutes ago. These are uh, showing farther down the feed than these uh, posts. Well, you know, obviously the, um, you know, obviously there's something to question there. Well, we got to realize that the algorithm is not chronological. Uh, it's, it's engagement based and you might, you might know that, but to really apply that specifically is you got to look at this right here and this right here. See, there is a bid going on um, for every single piece of content on Facebook with the feed. It, it is a constant nudging battle and it's all AI and it's all, it's all the algorithm doing the work, but there is a bid to see uh, whose content gets shown at the top of people at the top of people's feed and the underlying factors that uh, that the algorithm determines which piece of content gets shown in the top of, top of people's feed is a point uh, is, is the positive and negative uh, syst uh, point system for content. And, you know, I, I've talked about this a couple of times, um, but very simply it is um, likes, comments, shares, you know, those counts as engagement, you know, that is um, positive feedback. You know, that is, that tells the algorithm, hey, you know, this video is good. There's people liking it. There's people watching it, which, by, by the way, a view is considered engagement. You know, pe people don't realize engagement is broken into two factors. There's active and passive engagement. Um, you know, just a quick fact, 90% of users on Facebook are passive uh, engagers. Passive engagement is basically like uh, a view or a link click, something that, something that doesn't um, spur immediate, uh, you know, immediate more in, in, in engagement. So you know how, um, you know, if, if someone clicks share on this video, you know, more people are going to see it or if someone comments on it, their friends might see that they comment on this video. You know, that is active engagement. So the algorithm uses engagement to determine, you know, which pieces of content gets shown. Um, so, and, and also on the, on the flip side, there's negative engagement as well. So if I click this and I click hide post, that is negative engagement. And the actual specific points alike you know, a reaction is three points, a comment is six points, and a share is 13 points. So that, you know, those are the different levels of points for, you know, positive engagement, or positive feedback, I'm sorry, and negative engagement, or I'm sorry, negative feedback, which is hide post, or someone to click unfollows, um, you know, after this, after they see this post and they click unfollow, you know, those different engagement pieces, those are negative 100 points. So, if you are seeing a decline in reach, a decline in engagement overall, that means you know that your content is being shown and you know at the bottom of people's feeds and you know lower sections of people's feeds, so they're not getting it. They, you know they're not getting reached by it. That's why you have a decline in reach. The reason why you have a decline in your reach is because you're not getting as much engagement, or you're being beat by other people, by other pages, by other profiles that has more engagement than you, or they have more positive feedback. You know, you can have a million likes on one of your posts and, you know, that counts as, a, you know, um, you know, X amount of positive feedback. But if you have more negative feedback, you know, if you have thousands of people clicking hide this post, which is probably not the case, but if, if you have more negative feedback than positive feedback, then the algorithm will literally penalize you and will hide your content and will push it down people's feed. So to increase your organic reach, to increase those, it, it's purely about engagement. And by the way, um, you can actually penalize the page as a whole. So if your content has had a, a past or a, a repeated history of uh, having you know, lots of negative feedback, then the algorithm will penalize your page as a whole and all of your content will already start out by being hidden in people's uh, feeds, which is sort of a really, very um, uh, important thing to realize when you know, putting out content on Facebook. So that's just a quick thing that I want to mention.